Raspberry here. Welcome to another video. Um, hey, hey, excuse you. This is Iron Man Progress episode. Let's see, seventy-three, I think. That's a meme. That episode. Can you get the thing? So we're doing a bit of daily challenges to start the video off. I'm not sure what we're doing. We are working towards Elf City a bit slowly here, so something Elf City related. But we do have a daily challenge to do these impetus impulses. Um, so I haven't done this before. So yeah, we'll see how it works. We've got to get like, yeah, 36 of either nature. Let's see, what is it? Nature, eclectic, or magpie. So hopefully the thing works. I've been just grabbing random implings along the way as well, which is fun to do. Uh, best loot so far is dragon halberd. Just kidding. Uh, cactus spine. Actually, I think that's good. So we've got loop half key and a wild pie. The wild pie is actually really cool to get. Um, yeah, that would have been useful the other day when I was trying to get the death talisman. <laughs> I probably could have just boosted and actually got the death talisman the other day if I had that, so that's awesome. Shame we didn't have it then. Um, so let's see, yeah. So we'll just come back once we caught them all, tell you if I get any good loots, and then we'll do some more things. I'm almost done. There's a kingly impling in here. Where's he gone? There he is. You need 91 to catch it. E 70 hunter. That's kind of like a little milestone. I don't think that's needed for any quests or anything, though. I'm not sure, but there we go. 70 hunter. Well, I guess we can click. Can't we? Let's see. No. Cool. That's the challenge complete. We'll see what XP that is in a sec. But we've got four unicorn. This is the stuff I care. Four unicorn horns, six watermelon seeds, two curry tree seeds. That's pretty good, actually. Catch us blind. I, I'm not sure. I think that's used for something important, so I'll keep that for now. Magic logs, 15 gold bars, four oak planks, 10 adior, three mithraw, bucket of sands, wild pie, some lock picks, loop off key, blue dehyde chaps. So I think the best things here are curry tree seeds because I think they're good XP. And the loop half key. So I just been what I was doing as well. I was just like grabbing everything that was close to me while I was along the way. That's how I got a lot of XP. And I was just just grabbing everything really. So yeah, cool. I'm making challenge starting at 57. Shit, boy, first duel on the Iron Man. <laughs> oh, I got my D Halley. Let's go, son. Fucking fight me. I don't know what he's wearing, but I'm. What? Wait, who stunned who there? Oh, he's got full gear for God's sakes. Why has he not one shot me yet? Walk under him, walk under him. No! <laughs> awesome, this is cool. I love the dueling update, it's one of my favourite things, it's so good. So we finished the fire making one, do I say I'm going to try to do as much as them, if not all of the ones here. So we've done this gun three, now we've got to do the willow sh shield bows. I do have 600 bowstring in the bank, so I don't have to do that. So I have to cut <laughs> 300 willow shield bows, 336, not that bad. String them, bit bit worse, and then do some rune span. I'm going to get a big chunk of XP, it should be awesome. Fletching. Also, just by doing the fire making, by the way, we did get to 59. Obviously, we haven't handed in any of the things yet, though. Oh, fuck. That's what I get for logging out. I come here, I'm ready to do my daily. And my daily's re-rolled itself to rag bones. Um, I'm going to re-roll them. Well, I can do that right now, actually. Just because I don't, don't know where to get those bones. Um, probably stupid to do it. Well, actually, it tells you what you're going to get. Hmm, maybe I can quickly Google what... Where I can get those because I only have to get like five. They're not like they sound um, from the ogre burial tome, huh? Hmm, hmm. Maybe we can do this. Here on like loot coffins and shit. So let's uh, do that. All right. So I just got to kill these guys, and they drop a key, which then you use key to open the thing, and then I just got to hope I get lucky while opening it. I think. Oh god, that thing's scary. So I think that's the strat. Not even sure. So yeah, you got the coffin key. I'm going to have to bank to get a uh, proper gear then. Because I'm kind of, what am I wearing? Full mourner and one dragon halberd. So let's see. These zoga bones, they're not the right ones. We need the Rorag or whatever it is. There you go. Find the tinderbox. Okay, you got the bones, but I don't want that. I want the other bones. Alright, so let's uh, go get some range so we can smash all... Hey! Hands off. Hey, we got two of them. Awesome. I don't have an altar in my house, by the way, guys. So, I'm going at this for about half an hour, I'd say, and I'm ready to just end my life. So, yeah. I wouldn't say it's enjoyable. Hmm. I don't think there's any other way to get this, and I don't want to f stop now, because I'm at four out of five. I just need just one more. Like, when I first did this, I got two in a row. Look at all these Farag bones and the Org bones. I just want the fucking... Rorag bones or whatever. Just stop it. Let me have it and sleep, please. I'm efficiency wise and everything. I'm sure this is like I spent like half an hour on it or whatever. The XP I got it would have been like more XP of just like killing dragons or something, prayer XP wise. So but it's like one of those things like if you're too far into not 
not finish it now, you know? It's like, no, I've been here, I'm finishing it, but no, fuck, I don't believe it. Oh, all right, that's all the daily challenges done, holy shit. So we got Prayer one, uh, Fletching one, a Extended Herblore one, a Hunter one, and a Woodcut, uh, Fire Making one. So yeah, let's see what we get. Let's quickly bank our crap and we'll see what we get. Here's the XP's in the starting levels. I mean, I don't think we can get too much, but yeah, let's go. Turn in challenges. Yep. Maple logs. 45k fire making. Awesome. That one was worth it. 30k uh, hunter. Also awesome. Fifth. Okay. Cleaning 30... Cadentine gave me 51k Herblore XP. 51k. Oh my god. 27k Fletching. 4.7k Wow. Two, <laughs> two fire making levels, a herbal level, a fletching level. Fuck. Uh, <clears throat> 73 magic levels. Oh my goodness. That's so good, guys. Look at this. I think tr just from now on... I might just try to re-roll everything. Why not try to... The thing is, you can re-roll your things, but you can uh, see what you'll get, if that makes sense. Like, you can try to re-roll it, and it'll tell you what you're going to get. I'm just going to try to re-roll everything for, for Herbalore. Because, like, that... That was so much Herbalore. 51k. I know I, I know I extended it, but still, 51 fucking k. That's stupidly good. That's amazing. Fucking no wonder... No wonder IMM mode is fucking daily... Scape and I I do love RuneScape and I like RS3 but I hate the whole daily mindset like you gotta do your hour of chores first before you can play the game oh, fuck off mate how about I log in and I do Slayer not I log in then I do my cash and then my fucking war bands and then my uh fucking daily Araxor range kills that one's that no it's not forced onto but you know you like know, your fucking big chin and your cash and your suicide and it's not fun I don't like all that I really don't maybe that's just me I just want to log in and play and not feel disadvantaged by not doing that. See, after spending like 17 hours doing those fucking five daily challenges, <laughs> I'm happy with that uh, Herbal XP though, that was awesome. So we just got another Chi Globe, which is awesome. All right, I'm pretty sure these are meant to be removed or are getting removed really soon. As I'm recording this, it's just ticked over to the 2nd of June. So if they are indeed removing these, these are going to be gone pretty damn soon. So I should do them for these huge things. It was quite a lot, so let's quickly knock out all of these. Picking the cabbages. The very existence of cabbages in Gilanor is in danger. If you have any information regarding disappearing cabbages, please come see me at Cabbage Face Punts Bonanza, the Quartermaster. Now, I'm not sure if this is just a coincidence. The Gower Quest is coming out later this month, I think. And it has definitely has something to do with cabbages, so I'm not sure if this is just they put a cabbage joke in the May thing, which obviously is gone for you guys, I just realised that when this video's got up, that'll be totally gone by now, probably, if it does get destroyed. Or if there's actually a hint towards, uh, what do you call it? The Gower Quest, because they love their cabbages. So yeah, I should go back to Cabbage Face Punch Bonanza, and let's go talk to him. The ancient cabbage and save the world. You begin chewing on what you can only describe as a mixture between yak hair and cat sick. The texture appears to be evolving as you chew. It feels like an absence of everything in your mouth. <laughs> as you can continue chewing, you feel like the weight of the world is on your tongue. You had best try it and get it down. Come on, Mr. Iron Aid, you can do this. The whole of Gilinor is cheering you on. It's gone, but what? It, at what cost? The fuck? Amazing. I'm sure this is a bug where everyone's the World Guardian, because he asked me, are you sure you're the World Guardian? I'm not yet. I haven't done any of the those kind of quests on this account, I don't think. So I'm, I'm not the World Guardian yet, but the quest is kind of acting like I am. Honestly? Really? You failed to squeeze through the web. Perhaps you should try again. That I failed about seven times in a row. Is that agility crime or what? what? The hell? Some dungeoneering XP. Do we get dungeoneering XP? Yeah, 8.5k dungeoneering XP. Awesome. Brides in Atlanta. Pender. Boop. Pender. Dead. Come on, die. One small lamp for completing 25 cases. You also receive one large lamp. One large XP star. I can get bonus XP as an Iron Man. Coming in. Prismatic star, baby. Except... I think there's still more things to do, though, isn't there? Look. Read notice board. There's still some things, right? Three more. But... Wait, what did I just get? Oh, okay, yeah, so there's still this one. Oh, I didn't do this one either? 
And this one's locked? Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of things for me to do still. Let's do it. I need to investigate Thurgo's report of a ship to the northeast of Karamja. The fuck is this thing? Is this what he's asking to be reported? Oh, no, look. I'll show you this, guys. This is because uh, the uh, What's It Called has been updated. Um, if you guys haven't seen this yet, this is the first time I've actually been here. Void Night Outpost. Look at that. They updated that. It's got weather. Look at this, guys. How beautiful is this? It's even got, yeah, look, trees moving. So this is like one of the first areas that they've, uh, I guess, remade with NXT in mind. Because that's the thing, like, a lot of people still use Java, but are using Java. But hopefully in like two years or something like that, when 99% of the game, or hopefully 100%, is over to NXT, then they can start actually building stuff that's very technical and very graphically intensive. Not like to the point where it slows your computers, but you know, like, well, they don't have to worry about people on Java. That would be really cool. But yeah, this is awesome. Void now outpost. Very cool. Karasi. Brilliant. This looks like the ship he's interested in. What's this? Hello. What are you doing over there? I hope this whole May thing is building towards the updates, like the uh, Gower quest, and then maybe this could do with the Ark, hopefully. That'd be so good. About the Ark, right? I did invite a few people to join me for a life-changing trip across the seas to my homeland. Homeland of the Ark, right? Bar. <laughs> Fucking hell. Where's there a sheep on there? The once in a life trip to the eastern lands. Fucking hype, boys. It looks so good, that update. With the 400 million randomly generated islands that you can get to or something. Looks like such a fun update, guys. The dead blog, if you have no idea what the hell I'm on about. Shit, we got Zambo lighting the place on fire with his Karamja rum. So yeah, he's kidnapping people and stealing all this crap. He's up to no good, really. He really is. So the people that have gone disappearing, they're all here. He actually was trying to take them back to the fucking eastern lands. Right, now... I should, I'm going to have to look this up, because look at this, look at this one. Louis asked, Louis asked me to help him restock. I should take him five metal plate bodies from Bronze to Rune. Which is fine, I can do that, even as an Iron Man. But if I actually want real items, I that would suck if you're a low level, especially a low level Iron Man. You'd, you'd have to give him a Rune plate. Luckily, I should be able to get everything, hopefully. If not, we'll see, maybe it's like some sort of quest plate bodies. We'll, we'll have a quick Google. Apparently, it's just five plate bodies in total. So, yeah. And apparently you can get enough from the Varrock plate body shop. So we'll see. Penguin. Penguin spotted. Mr. Cumberbatch would say, Penguang. Recording so much of this one, because this is the last one I need to do out of the whole 28. So let's see, plate body. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, even for a low level Iron Man, you have to stock up a few K, like 20K at most, if you are a low level Iron Man. But normal accounts, obviously it's very easy. And yeah, we should be able to finish this, and we'll see what the rewards are and how much XP we get. And I'll give my review of the whole Meg's May thing. It's being racist. Meg's cases. Five plate bodies. Oh, how about the five plate bodies I got in my fucking inventory, mate? Grab a room one out of the bank. Unless I'm bad at maths, that's five, isn't it? And they're all plates, there's no chains. It's bronze to rune. I've got all in between there. One of my 22 room plates. Uh, do we have anything else in there? there we go. More iron plates, grab another steel plate, another black plate, here's an addy plate. No excuses now, mate, we've got doubles up, we've got everything, we're ready for you. Who no wants to take him? Whatever. There we go, so that's the very last one. Uh, one small lamp, two, I mean, one one huge XP lamp, one huge XP star. So we'll see how much XP we get for all this stuff in my inventory. This obviously isn't the whole month's worth, isn't, uh, I think there's only like seven things I did. So we had to check the notice board. Is Meg back? She's still not back yet. Spoilers. Um, so yeah, I've done everything. Let's have a look at what we get. Also, first review. I think those are really fun. 30 little things, one per day. Obviously, you could do them as much as you want. Hopefully, when this goes up, they didn't remove them. They're still in the game just for fun. I think they were talking about doing that. And it is the second of June to record this, so maybe they are staying in. Because they're really fun, guys. Um, little simple content. You get a little bit of reward. And you get some very good hype for the upcoming content and stuff like that. So use this bonus, XP. We're doing this in Herblore. Let's see. 34k bonus Herblore XP. Now let's use all our lamps. Hopefully we get a good thing. We've got large, huge. Come on, Herb. And a lot of small. 49k. Okay, I was hoping for a bit more, but we'll take that. 69 Herb. Awesome. I think we're going to finish this uh, video off at... Oh, yes, anti-fire potions. That's cool. I think we're going to... 69. I only have to get 75 for thing, and I haven't used any of my herbs yet. Like, I've got a lot of herbs just in the bank still. And talking about a lot of herbs, I'm going to quickly go to, uh, what's it called? Um, shit, uh, miscellaneous, and we're going to check that. So this is going to be two weeks worth, at least, um, I think, yes, around two weeks, um, of 
always 100, well not always 100, but never dropping below like 95% and always being over 750k cash in the thing. So yeah, we'll go check the loots in a sec. Check how much money is in there though. Manage, I'm always scared I'm going to click collect while I'm trying to manage it. Yeah, over 750k, let's deposit another... Hey! Hey! 300k. Cool, alright. Collect. Collect your resources. Yes! Oh, that's juicy. Oh, it gives you the value, that's cool. Except, don't show me the value. The spoilers is an Iron Man. Oh, it's looking pretty good, guys. 3.6k maple logs. I'm happy with that. 1.8k teaks. That's 1.8k teak planks, which I'm not sure how much uh, XP in, in uh, construction that is, but, you know, it's good. 13 ringed bird's nest kind of thing. 25 seed bird's nest. Uh, one Guthix, one Zami. 262 Haralander. 80 Cadentine. 234... Taramin, 84 Dwarf Weed, 70 Lantern Dime, 104 Rana, 104 Prayer Pots, right there, 78 Quam, 200 Avento, uh, 146 Era, 1 Rana Seed, 7 Guam, 2 Mariental, 2 Taramin, and of course the Oak uh, Tick Logs. That's really good, guys. That's some awesome Herb XP. Um, I imagine that's back in the bank now. I don't want to collect it just in case it bugs out and or something. So let's quickly hit up the bank, guys. Um, and we'll have a look at our herbs and stuff. Because, yeah, one of the goals we've got to get for Plague's End is 75 herb lore. But I think, you know, we just got to go grind some secondaries now. I think we got the actually herb part down, which is absolutely awesome. Or at least very close to it. Or we can just wait a while and get our quest done and make it the very last one while just doing our uh, daily, uh, what's it called, challenges and the other things every now and then. But let's have a look at the herbs. Yeah. 800, 500, 167 Ranas, that's awesome, almost 300 Cadentine, 300 Dwarf Weeds, almost 600 Irrit, 300 Quam, 280 Lantadime, only 23 Toad Flax, okay, 560 Aventoe, like that is so good, that was like so, almost 600 Extreme Attacks, if I could make them, for instance, 100 Torstal, that's the Red Drop Table, um, let's open these seeds, you guys like to see this, um, where is it, Bird's Nest, let's open the Bird's Nest, get anything good, Let's see what we got. Um, maple seed, nice. Just maple seeds, nothing there. Other 15. And I opened the rings as well, because I don't think you can get anything from the rings anyway. Like best is probably ruby. I don't think you get dragons or anything like that. Okay, we got another willow seed. Oh, that's a willow seed. The other one was maple. Three yew seeds. Oh, my goodness. Two curry tree seeds. Three yew, a pineapple. Very nice. Okay, that's worth it. Three yews. Um, let's just open these, even though you can tell what these are. Yeah. And then let's do the rings. Oh, damn, we can't even get them all open, but yeah, you get the point. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's a bit of a filler episode. There's still some fun stuff going in there. Look at all these, uh, I'm really happy with what we got out of that yield, and I'm really happy with that, uh, stuff. Whatever it's called. Daily challenges. We've got a lot of XP in this video, actually, to be fair, with all the challenges and quests, that little mini quest series, and then all the XP we're getting out of there is absolutely awesome, guys. And I know I've got to clean my bank eventually. I've got, like, one organized tab, and it's this one. But yeah, I'm so happy with all those herbs, guys. This uh, Prif grind is looking very possible, and I'm very happy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. 4.7k teaks, 7k maples. So nice. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Somehow this filler episode is 18 minutes long! Kill me!